Welcome to St John's of Lattingtown here on the North Shore of Long Island in New York. I'm Chris Brain, Director of Music Ministry. We continue our journey through some of the hymns in the Episcopal Hymnal of 1982 with the great Welsh hymn, Guide Me, O Thou Great Redeemer. It's number 690. In the translation in the English hymnal, it is called Redeemer. In the Episcopal Hymnal, it becomes Jehovah. So, guide me, O thou great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren land. I am weak, but thou art mighty. Hold me with thy powerful hand. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me now and evermore. Feed me now and evermore. The words were written by William Williams. He was born in 1717 near Llandovery in Carmarthenshire. He originally trained as a doctor, but abandoned it for theology. He was ordained deacon in the Church of England, but was refused priestly orders. So he found another religion to follow, the Calvinistic Methodists. He composed his hymns chiefly in the Welsh language. The words were translated into English by another Williams, Peter Williams. He was converted to Christianity by the preaching of George Whitefield and was ordained in the Church of England in 1744. His evangelical convictions soon made him suspect, however, and he left the state church to join the Calvinist Methodists in 1746. However, he fell out with the Methodists and was eventually expelled by them in 1791 on a charge of heresy. He ministered in his own chapel during the last years of his life. He published the first Welsh Bible commentary and also a Welsh hymnal in 1759. The tune was written by John Hughes, who received little formal education. In fact, at the age of 12, he was already working as a door boy at a local mining company. He eventually became an official in the traffic department of the Great Western Railway. Much of his energy was devoted to the Salem Baptist Church in Pontypreth, where he was deacon and precentor. He composed the tune Cum Ronda in 1905 for a song festival in Capel Ronda in Pontypreth. I hope you're enjoying the series so far and if you have a favourite hymn please do let me know and I'll try and include it later on in the series. In the meantime thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you all next time.